parents welcome back to another topic by most of the parents who have requested that is picky eaters and fussy eaters but before that kindly subscribe to my channel by hitting a bell icon at the bottom i have also created a link tree which means that you will find all the links of my facebook insta community on one uh, stop shop so in this video we will talk about the eating habits of the toddlers why they refuse to eat the food and what can we do to help them eat food so let's start being a mom how would you feel when you place another meal in front of your toddler and they refuse to eat you'll feel all of the emotions like anger terrified frustrated but yeah let's let's talk about the uh, eating habits of the toddler so there are three types of eating habits of the toddler which is quick the ones who come in the quick category they don't want to be seated for long and they they may have a hard time sitting at one place to eat the entire food so they usually don't eat a lot which is normal for them second comes the exploratory that means they just want to get messy and squishy with their food third is the picky if something it looks new or different they likely to avoid it this often results into throwing food on the floor now let's talk about why toddlers refuses to eat it's 100% normal for a toddler to refuse to eat sometimes this happens because of those three eating habits of the toddler so it's a part of the stage that they are in despite how annoying and worrisome it could be for the mommies or parents but sometimes some toddlers refuses to eat anything or mostly anything so this is a different situation and it is likely caused by some other factors it's it's none none of your fault right so let's talk about those factors the first factor is difficulty learning to eat table foods so there is a hard time transitioning from the semi solids to this proper solid food that means eating real food after the baby food right some kids get stuck on purees and even refuses those as well if toddlers never learn how to eat they likely have no desire so the good news is that that you can still teach your toddler to eat table or finger food but yes it takes some time and patience second is sensitivity to texture some toddlers are so sensitive to different textures that they're either limited in what they'll accept it that is only crunchy food or just won't take anything because the texture is so overwhelming to them third factor is can't chew well it's quite easy to overlook because chewing is something we take it for granted but some toddlers never learn to chew well or can't move the food around their mouth mouth and have food falling out of their mouth or they gag after chewing or lose the track uh, of the food in their uh, mouth fourth is grazing means jugali <laughs> yeah because of the toddler's eating habit we talked about above letting your toddler graze on food throughout the day it seems uh, like a good solution however constantly eating a bite throughout uh, the day never allows them to feel hungry and they don't learn to eat a new food next is underlying medical condition if none of the above reason feels like what is going on your child it is possible that there is some underlying medical reason that they aren't uh, wanting to eat it's worth considering if the toddler has a silent reflux allergies or possibly some other medical reason for refusing to eat so this we have talked about the eating habits and why toddlers refuse to eat now we will come to the point how to help the toddlers who are refusing to eat so there are some tips which as my personal experience i can help you the first is get them on a schedule that means um, if i tell you my experience i have kept i mean three proper meals and this was this these are the timings and two proper snacks for my kid so yes you have to create a schedule for the kids so that they can eat proper at the proper timings second is schedule meals so that they they are 2 uh, 3 hours apart i mean avoid grazing on snacks or other foods in between so that they really feel hungry and when they sit down it takes only few few minutes for a toddler to just eat fast third is choose a spot to have most of your meal that means the consistency of eating in 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 the same place will help them to adjust to the routine let them get messy yes this is the next step and uh, i never recommend any mom not letting the kids getting messy because this is super important and i know it's very annoying for the tired moms also because uh, toddlers want to explore everything and it is more important for the toddlers who seems not to get messy 
remember that we talked about uh, i mean being sensitive about the textures this will help them not to be sensitive and the more they play with the food the more they will adapt the food textures and uh, start eating next is eating together you should i mean not should you must eat your meals together as a family be it breakfast be it uh, dinner or lunch because if your kid is currently refusing to a eat sit down and eat while they sit there i mean if no matter if it's only for few minutes but still they will focus on the meal by looking at you that you're eating thank you very much for watching this video guys and if you like this video kindly subscribe hit and like and share it with other moms who really need help uh, with their kids who are refusing to eat because most of the kids i mean if they refuse certain nutrients at this point of time or age they they just become malnourished so yeah we are helping each other and uh, thank you very much for watching bye bye see you until my next video bye bye